expressed her discouragement with our own Jordan Foster. When you go visit your loved ones at the cemetery, you don't expect to see this, this, or this. Well, this is something Kim Demby has been seeing the last few months she's come to visit her dad buried here at Magnolia Cemetery. He was laid to rest in 2003. The grass was well up over our ankles and there were weeds up over our knees. And now you can see weeds as high as Kim's waist. We were really hesitant to even walk over to the graveside because we you know, weren't sure if there were going to be snakes around. There's trees down on grave sites throughout the cemetery. Just taking a look at Magnolia Cemetery in Beaumont, Kim says it's obvious there needs to be some work done. She says this tree has been down since Mother's Day. Up until now, we've never had a problem. The whole cemetery has been nice and well maintained. The groundskeeper of the cemetery says a high amount of funerals the past few months, along with constant rain, has caused work to fall behind. He says it's something they are aware of and they are asking families to bear with them. It's, it's really frustrating, especially when you reach out and they assure you that they're going to start working on it and you come back out a week or so later and nothing's being done. Kim is hoping the next time she visits her father's grave, she will not have to wrestle with weeds to do it. Hmm. Now, the groundskeeper could not give a timeline on when they will be able to groom all of the, the cemetery grounds. Hmm. Okay, well, Jordan, you were telling us that Kim also has other family members buried at Magnolia. Mm -hmm. So what, uh, what's the condition of those grave sites? Um, similar to her father's, you know, the whole grave, you know, there are definitely multiple graves that need to be cared for. Um, a lot of high grass, a lot of weeds. So um, it's something that they're hoping that um, can get, get done really quickly. Okay, well, keep us updated on it. Thank you so much, Jordan. Thank you, Jordan.